Hi everybody, welcome to my channel. My name is Lloyd Buster and this is the channel where you will get your motivation and inspiration and calibration for your destination. Now if you enjoy this, uh, click on the like, uh, subscribe because uh, we've got some great things to share with you uh, on your journey through life and we're definitely going to be better together. I want to talk to you for just a few moments about enthusiasm. First of all, a hypothetical question here. What if there was an instrument like a thermometer that could measure the level of your enthusiasm? We could take that instrument, we could stick it in your mouth, pull it out and hold it up, and we could immediately tell how valuable you are to your community, your friends, and your family. That would be powerful, wouldn't it? Enthusiasm is different from energy. In some ways, it's a distinction without a difference because enthusiasm gathers uh, energy and it distributes it around. What if we could take this incredible feeling of enthusiasm, intensify it even more, multiply it even more around the world what if I told you that enthusiasm could be the new hope for world peace? How would that be? Well, what if, the, what if one day the nations of the world found a commonality to be enthused about? That might very well be the beginning of the end of world wars. You know why? Because enthusiasm is the great healer of division and uh, disagreements. Have you ever seen two businessmen arguing over a, a business negotiation? They couldn't come to an agreement at all and, and they're using, you know, foul language and uh, some of these dudes almost come to, you know, boom, boom, almost come to blows, right? But all of a sudden they have head-on collision with a commonality. They find out that they both love to fish. Keep them coming. She got another one. Number two, Lila. Evie, take a picture. Oh, okay, Evie, slow down. Evie, <laughs> Look at that. Okay. There's a little photographer, Evie. Number two, folks. So, boom, the whole atmosphere changes. Uh, disagreements are dismissed and the angles of angling are discussed now and two enemies have just become great friends isn't that cool that's the power of enthusiasm you know what else enthusiasm is the great convincer so many people have left their mark on life because of some special enthusiasm and passion that possessed them John J. Audubon, don't forget the name, John J. Audubon, born April 26, 1785, passed away uh, January 27, 1851. John J. Audubon was an orthodologist. He was an expert on studying birds. He was an author on birds. He was a painter. He painted birds. He, uh, such an expert that he discovered 25 new species of birds. This was his enthusiasm of life, studying birds. Even in the scientific community, they use today, they use language phrases and words that he actually invented. They're still currently using them in the scientific community today because he was enthused about his purpose. Uh, as I said, he wrote many books, painted. They say one of his finest works was the painted book that he wrote uh, and painted called The Birds of North America. He is the namesake for the National Audubon Society, uh, the Audubon Zoo, Audubon this, Audubon that, Audubon, Audubon, right? Audubon Street, Audubon Way, Audubon World, around the world. His life's enthusiasm was birds. 
Now, they say you can't take it with you. Now, I know you can't take your car, you can't take your bling bling, you can't take your beautiful mansion, but this man took his enthusiasm of life with him. There were birds, right? You know that his last words that he spoke before he passed away, you know what it was? Ducks. <laughs> Ducks. That was his last words. That man lived such an enthused life, nobody could defocus him, nobody could knock him off of his game. I mean, he was just so enthused about birds that he, he actually took it to his grave. Ducks. And I believe when he goes to heaven, I believe there's probably going to be some ducks, birds waiting for him. Oh, that's so, that's just incredible to think the power of enthusiasm. You've got a purpose, but you're not enthused about it. You've got a goal, but you're not enthused about it. You've got a dream, but you're not enthused about it. You've got a job, but you're not enthused about it. You've got a talent, but you're not enthused about it. You've got a song, but you're not enthused about it. You've got all of these gifts and talents and goals and projects and visions and dreams, but you're not enthusiastic. You're not enthused about it. And that's probably the missing element of your success. So no matter how scientific your thinking is, no matter how worthy your character is, without the ardor, without the fire, without the passion and energy of enthusiasm, you haven't breathed the breath of life into your morals and your facts and they're, and they're unrelated and useless in everyday living. You can change your world by being enthused. You can change your marriage by being enthused. You can change the way your children look at you and look at the world by being enthused. Look, let me just give you some good advice. For the sake and for the help of your, your mind, your body and soul, find something to be enthused about. If it's just a dead tree stump, get enthused about it. Life is gonna brighten up your world is going to change for the better people around you it's that contagious enthusiasm is going to get a hold of them they're going to start saying wow i'm excited and i shouldn't even be excited i'm happy and i shouldn't even be happy because of you the power of enthusiasm that you are spreading look rock on with enthusiasm